I am happy to welcome two radiopharmaceutical experts from the Technical University of Munich here at Nuklearmedizin 2022 in Leipzig, Dr. Johannes Notny and Neil Quigley. Dr. Notny is also co-founder and chief scientific officer of the company Trimt, who are developing novel radiopharmaceuticals such as the diagnostic gallium-68 true vaccine for various types of cancer, especially focusing into green biomarkers. And Neil Quigley is also working as a global product manager for Isotope Technologies Munich and just yesterday received the Georg von Hevesy Award of the German Society of Nuclear Medicine for his outstanding work on targeting cancer integrated Alpha V Beta 6 with Gallium 68 3 vaccine. So, Mr. Quigley, congratulations on your fantastic work and this appreciation from DGN. Please tell us some more about your work on Gallium 68 3 vaccine. How did the development begin? What was its goal? And what were the team's thoughts when developing the tracer? Yeah, so um, there are some published tracers currently featured in over the years from many centers, to name a handful would be Stanford, uh, Heidelberg and UC Davis. And so we really didn't develop this completely novel target, really novel tracer. Hannes also pioneered a lot of work with this, I would say, the base structure that we took, modified and really optimized. It originally, the one that we say that Hannes originally pioneered, it did have some very promising results in a preclinical setting. But unfortunately, when it came to the clinical translation, it just didn't really um, show, live up to what we thought was the full potential. Then when we essentially went back to the drawing board was where I first actually came into the project where we actually modified the peptide sequence and then we also developed a multimer out of it. And Originally, when I first came into this field, I really actually had no context for what was a good tracer, what was a bad tracer. So originally, I first synthesized trivahexine, I guess would have almost been like four years ago now. And then the first ever animal study we did, the first ever mouse image that I had seen of my own research was with gallium trivahexine. And at the time, I had no context. I didn't really appreciate it. So when, when, when Hannes said, hey, you know, you have to realize what we, what we have right here. And I was like, yeah, sure. I guess he knows what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> and the situation basically continued when we saw the first patient image uh, shortly after that, um, I just was stunned and said, that, that's what, I've, what um, Norbert Cech in Bremen has sent us, this image. I said, that can't be true. That's really a game changer. So that we, we knew that we had something in their hands. Ah, that's really interesting. Thank you very much. So what is the added value compared to other tracers and what are the special features of Gallium 68 3 vaccine? Well, I'd say to first maybe address the molecular characteristics. You know, peptide tracers are in itself nothing new, but of course, gallium trivahexine is the first commercial tracer to feature the trap chelator. So Hannes, again, he also developed this and pioneered it over the last, I guess, 12 years. And also it's the first multimere to be commercially available. So you have the added effect of, you know, multiple, say, ligand binding sites. So that's quite an advantageous, I would say, aspect to it. And I think the second off is the fact that it's an alpha V beta 6 integrin tracer. So I mentioned earlier on that there was other groups developing different alpha V beta 6 tracers. So that in itself is nothing new, but essentially over the years that the alpha V beta 3 integrin has really dominated the integrin space. But really, we want to really highlight that, you know, when people think of integrins, they maybe automatically assume you're talking about alpha beta 3. But with this development, this alpha V beta 6 tracer, I think. Yeah. And this is something completely different, basically. Yeah. I mean, it belongs to the same class of receptors, but essentially it's expressed in different cell types. So whatever one might think he knows about uh, the, 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 the tracer itself might not be true entirely. Yeah, perfectly said. <laughs> Well, thank you. Um, Dr. Notney, you have been le uh, leading this uh, research on the tracer as a principal investigator um, and are now, as the chief scientific officer of TRIMT, also part of the clinical development and commercialization. So um, what are the next steps planned by TRIMT and their partners? Yeah, of course, um, the focus now lies on the clinical translation. And, and um, of course, it's, uh, we, we don't just need anecdotal evidence that the tracer works. So in um, Many centers worldwide, uh, the tracer is actually being used and, and uh, tested for different uh, settings, for different uh, entities. And in Germany, we have several centers who plan uh, to start clinical phase two studies. Uh, this is so, so brand new in the planning phase still that I cannot really comment on this. Uh, but at least um, these, these clinical studies are underway. And of course, um, what TRIMMED does, we try to provide the materials those clinic centers need for their work. 
So the focus now lies on the GMP production uh, and of, of all the materials that they need for the radio pharmaceutical synthesis. And in that respect, we are also working together with Eckert and Ziegler, um, who is developing the GMP radio pharmaceutical production process on their modules, and they will finally also put uh, the uh, respective process and the disposables and the, so the cassettes for the modules to the market uh, that in the long run, and I, the, well, it's actually not the long run. I think we, we will have finalized all this before end of this year, uh, that we have a fully GMP compliant process available commercially from Tim and Eckert and Ziegler, to, that every radio pharmacy can set up this process immediately in their facilities and have the tracer produced under GMP. Thank you. Very uh, interesting and exciting and promising insights. So, what what are the future plans? Uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of plans that we could have. Um, uh, first of all, we need to establish, of course, trivaccine as an imaging tracer, and that doesn't only mean carcinomas. I mean, it is a very promising target uh, for. Uh, many carcinomas, but also for fibrotic processes. So trivaccine might also turn out to be a promising tracer for fibrotic issues, which is a completely different field than oncology, of course. And um, when we talk about carcinomas, um, we started out to work uh, again together with Technical University of Munich, where the tracer was originally developed to set up a large screening program um, uh, to analyze uh, by histochemistry uh, the target expression in 25 uh, most important carcinomas. So we have a good database uh, for which carcinomas the tracer actually works and what we can finally do with it in the clinic. And what about therapeutic applications? <laughs> this is of course, yeah, this is of course an obvious question. Um, the therapeutic is uh, in, uh, particularly interesting for, the, uh, for patients and clinicians. And this is something we are working at, at Trimmed at that moment. So my responsibility is to deliver uh, a therapeutic structure. And having that said, um, this is something we don't do alone. We develop these therapeutic approaches together with Radio Farm Theranostics. Uh, this is a stock market exchange uh, listed company. Uh, uh, their stocks are listed on the Australian Stock Exchange, by the way. And with those strong partners, we develop the therapeutics in the US market, in the European market mainly, but also like to, of course, uh, do this worldwide in the future. And all these developments are um, again done in close collaboration with the Department of Nuclear Medicine at Technical University of Munich. So essentially, where we started out, yeah. Neil and me, we continued this research. Uh, so it is a, it's a really good collaboration with all those places and partners. So maybe one, one last question. Where, where do you see the Tracer in 10 years from now? I think it is most obvious that it will be a companion diagnostic uh, for the therapeutic approach. And I expect that uh, way before these 10 years have been uh, reached, uh, we will have a market authorization by the FDA and the EMA. And um, I think I think it is not only this companion diagnostic scheme that a trivaccine is good for, uh, because the beta-6 integrin has been mentioned over decades as a very promising um, predictive marker for many carcinomas. So I think the imaging itself will also be valuable as a standalone procedure to guide conventional therapies and the person for, to, to improve uh, personalized medicine approaches, for one thing. And also, I think there are promising non-oncological applications, um, imaging of fibrosis, just to mention this one. So I think there's a bright future for trivaccine imaging over the next 10 years. Well, thank you very much for your assessment. Um, this already ends our short interview. Dr. Nodny and Mr. Quigley, thank you very much again for taking the time. And I wish you all the best for your future work in the radio pharmaceutical field. Thank you very much. Thank you.